Hi, my name is Jacques Tribuani from Yosin Community. Here's an introduction to recording audio in Yosin Hollyhock. First, create a new empty workspace. Now, we decide where to record our audio files. Open the setup panel. Under Global tab, click Record Out folder and select your target. Close the panel. Let's create a groove rack. Alt click your rack to rename it. And choose its color. Now, open the browser. Under Sound, expand grooves and drop GR4 into your patch. Select Normal Sampler. Close your browser. Loop your sample and fold up your patch. Let's stop it for now. Open the direct to disk window using the record button. In this window, you will drop any rack or device you want to record. The stereo out device is here by default, but we'll see later how to use it. You can move it to the trash bin. Drop your groove rack. Play your sample and record using the red button. Stop recording. A window appears. Give a name to your project. Press enter and stop your sampler. A new file has been created in your record folder, showing your project name, rack number and rack name. Delete the file. Now plug a microphone to your sound card. In my device panel, the mic is plugged into input 1. Let's create a reverb rack using the Ctrl T or Command T shortcut. Open your browser and under the library tab, audio FX, reverb, drop reverb patch in rack 2. Close the browser. Rename your rack. Change its color and drop your microphone input in rack 2. I can record rack 2. Drop the rack. But I can also record my microphone without FX with dropping its input device. And because my two racks outputs go into stereo out device, I can drop it to record what I hear. Let's go. Start your groove patch. Record and use your microphone. This is my voice. This is my voice. Now stop recording. Name your project. Press Enter and stop using Engine. Open the Record Out folder, following the path you've filled in your setup. Here are the four wave files we've just created. First file is Rack 1, the Groove Rack. Second file is Rack 2, the Reverb Rack. Third file is my mic input, dry sound recorded directly from my sound card. Fourth file is my stereo out. It's a mix of my two racks output. The files have been recorded together. They belong to the same project and are synchronized. I can drop it into a multi-track software. This fantastic tool can record all your direct inputs, rack outputs and devices outputs real time. You can remix it later with your favorite DAO. The recording is made in a separate background process with a minimum CPU impact to your live session.